Welcome back. You know, more people are turning to their relatives to get them out of tough financial situations. So what do you do when your family asks for money? To help us navigate this very tricky situation, we're joined by Credible.com personal finance expert Dan Ricardo this morning. You know, Dan, they say you're not supposed to, like, mix business and pleasure or business with family. So, like, this kind of sounds like that vibe. It's something that you really shouldn't do. For sure, but 60% of us admit to giving money or lending money to a family member, and 30% of them say it's damaged the relationship. Wow, so it's a big, that's it, a lot of people. It really is. It's in every family. You know, um, your heart is telling you one thing, Liz, but your wallet is telling you another. Uh, so, I mean, what do you do? What do you do if a relative comes to you and asks for money, and you love them, but, I mean, what do, what do you do? Well, the first thing is don't answer right away. Think about it. Think deeply about it. Number one, consider who's asking. Is it the brother-in-law who asks you every month for money? <laughs> right? There's, it's a repeat offender. Uh, prioritize your finances. Liz, it's the last thing you and I want to do is bankrupt ourselves helping you know, someone else. Uh, never take money out of your 401k to, you know, to help a family member. And it's okay to say no. I know it's hard to do that. It sounds cruel, but it is okay to say, I just can't do this. Okay. Now, let's say, I, I feel like the thing is like, oh, I need money, but I'll pay you back. Should, if if yeah. we do give money to someone, should we just assume it's never coming back? When you lend money to family, always assume it's a loan. If they say they're going to pay you back, right, then, you know, be honest, be understanding, um, you know, those sorts of things. Maybe instead of just cash, Liz, we recommend an alternative, right? So there might be community resources or resources through the government, whatever, where if the person's really struggling, they should be looking in that direction instead of your direction. Oh, Dan, this is uh, great information here. We're trying to keep families together here on Good Day Seattle. Dan, appreciate you so much. Thank you. You got it, brother. Can you spare a dime? I'll call you when I'm a, when I'm broke, Liz. I know. I'm gonna. I need to hold it. I need to hold a couple dollars, Dan. Just <laughs> send it my way. All right. Thank you.